everyone, we are just outside uh, Toulon where Naval Group is hosting us to unveil its uh, brand new Sequest. It is a tactical USV but it is also a brand new product lines of unmanned surface vessels. So to find out all about it, let's meet with two representatives from the company. I am with Patrick Penamen, the head of Sirena. Patrick, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. Thank you for welcoming us uh, here uh, just outside uh, Toulon with your brand new uh, tactical USV. Uh, can you please first introduce uh, what is uh, Sirena? Sure, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about uh, Sirena. Sirena is a small subsidiary of uh, Naval Group, the French leader and uh, European leader in uh, naval defense uh, for maritime uh, boats. Uh, Sirena is uh, approximately 150 people specialized in hydrodynamics since nearly 40 years. Drones, so conception and production design of drones and surveillance maritime systems. So why did uh, Naval Group and Sirena uh, decided to launch this new product line, the, the Sequest uh, line of USVs? We do have uh, within Naval Group and uh, so Sirena too uh, a strategy to develop drones, and we started by the I would say the smaller size of drones after having discussed with several of our customers to present a first product ready to operate at sea uh, for whoever wants to uh, to acquire it, whether maritime uh, operators, navy or civilian operators. Patrick, can you share with us uh, some of the main specifications and performance figures of the Sequest S? Yes, the uh, Sequest S is so 930 is for the uh, the size of the of the drone, which is 9 meters 30 centimeters. Uh, top speed will be in the range of 35 knots, uh, and is ready to uh, to carry on uh, several types of I would say of sensors of effectors to be able on a modular, I would say, modular uh, uh, implementation of this uh, equipment on board to, to be able to have a, a wide range and variety of missions at sea. And uh, this one, for instance, what would be its mission? Uh, this one is uh, ISR, so Intelligence Surveillance and Recognition, which means that it has embedded uh, a lot of uh, sensors, so uh, cameras, uh, uh, day camera, night camera, uh, light uh, amplification, uh, AIS, radar, and also pan tilt zoom cameras, and uh, also some um, goniometer uh, in order to make some um, uh, common uh, intelligence. The tactical USB market is already pretty crowded. What makes the Sequest S unique compared to uh, its potential competitors? So the Sequest 930 ISR is unique because it's natively designed to be integrated on board a frigate within the boat bay uh, uh, and to be, I would say, carried uh, out uh, by the frigate uh, to uh, operation theater wherever they are. So ready then to be lifted uh, at sea and used on uh, operational missions. Have you demonstrated that uh, capability already? Yes, we did. Indeed, we had some tests made with a French frigate, the Frem, and we have made the operation twice or three times, and uh, it does work perfectly. Besides ISR, which other missions do you envision for the Sequest S? So the Sequest 930 ISR uh, has been designed, as I said, uh, for an ISR mission, but the concept of the Sequest S series or range is uh, to be completely modular, so you, uh, you are able to change the mission capability package, and uh, uh, later on you will find some other, I would say, type of missions, combat mission, and several types of Sequest uh, S within the range, uh, thanks to that modularity. You just mentioned it is a combat ready, so do you mean it's not a prototype, but that's an actual uh, end product? Uh, completely, this is a, a full product ready to operate, it's an operational product, not a prototype, not a demonstrator, something which is able to be integrated on board a frigate and to be used as of today. What about the command and control system? Uh, will it be integrated to the CEDIS uh, CMS on board the frigate? So the command and control system will be designed and is developed by Naval Group. It's called Styris and will then be able to, uh, to operate uh, the ship itself. Lastly, Patrick, so this uh, USV, the Sequest uh, S, is just uh, one of three uh, new lines of uh, USVs uh, by Naval Group. Can you tell us more? Uh, yes, later on, Pierre Antoine will be able to develop the answer, but we, are, we have a product line which is made of three range, the Sequest S uh, for small, Sequest M for medium, and Sequest L for large. And this three range will, uh, will be uh, inside the uh, Sequest product line. 
And at Euro Naval, uh, you will be uh, briefing uh, navies around the world, uh, official delegations about this new product line. Yes, we will make uh, an official presentation of the Sequest 930 ISR, as well as all the, I would say, drones uh, development from Naval Group at Euro Naval. Pierre Antoine Flich, uh, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. You are the head of uh, product lines for Enman Systems at uh, Naval Group. Uh, the Sequest is just one of four product lines for unmanned systems that the Naval Group is actually unveiling at uh, Euro Naval. Can you tell us more about the other ones? Yeah, so we're pushing out four product lines on the market. Um, the other one, one of the other ones is about uh, vehicles as well. It's for all the unmanned uh, underwater vehicles. And then we have two product lines. One's dedicated to systems, so that covers a mission system called Styris that does all the mission planning and preparation and also works for the interface with a combat management system or C4 ISR for example. And also our autonomy solutions if you want to turn a teleoperated vehicle into an autonomous vehicle. Um, and the fourth one are, covers all the physical integration solutions that we use, so to make sure that we're able to deploy drones and unmanned systems on the theater, typically launch and recovery solutions, but you'll also find communication solution. One example is uh, one of our unmanned deployment ships that uh, we've seen and that has been a flagship for the Belgo-Dutch mine countermeasure program uh, that's ongoing at the moment. From a strategy point of view, why is it important for Naval Group to embrace the unmanned nowadays? So Naval Group has made unmanned systems one of its strategic pillars. Uh, it covers multiple aspects. One is because we believe it's going to be a very important domain uh, coming up in the naval combat as, we, as it is developing now. Uh, the second one is we believe Naval Group has a lot to offer uh, into this domain, be it being able to have a comprehensive offer, both systems, interface solutions and vehicles themselves. We also have a unique capability to make these vehicles combat ready uh, because we are already present in this domain, be it from systems perspective or from a weapons perspective. Uh, and it's because it's something that we feel it's a challenge that we're very well placed to pick up. As uh, Patrick uh, confirmed, uh, Sequest S is just one of uh, three uh, USV uh, products that uh, Naval Group uh, unveils for its launching for your Naval. Can you tell us more about the, the other two uh, variants of the USV? Yeah, so Sequest will have three sizes, the S, but we're also already working on concepts for the M and the L. So the M version will be typically used either isolated on a theater or within a task group. So these are vehicles that are not meant to be embarked on frigates. Uh, they share some common technology with the Sequest S. Typically, autonomous navigation is really something that we're developing on the Sequest S and bringing over to the M. Or some specific architectural concept like the PSIM, the panoramic sensor integrated mast that you see behind and it will be also reusing in a much larger size for the M. Some other topics are very specific and typically when you're talking reliability or endurance it's very different thinking a couple of tens of hours to a couple of tens of days which is really what's our key focus now for the M series. Are you developing uh, this range for uh, the domestic market or for exports because uh, so far there's only very few navies that are actually ac actively working on uh, large USVs, the US Navy and, uh, and Australia? Yeah, so all of our development are dedicated to export as well as the domestic market. Uh, the M size that we're focusing on, we feel is really an interesting size, maybe quite suitable for what Europeans are looking into. If you're looking at what the European Defense Fund is working on, uh, some projects like Euroguard, on which we hold the autonomy uh, work package, are typically on these types of sizes. Pierre-Antoine, thank you very much. Thank you very much.